The Deer Lord may be the perfect build foundation pet, and here's why. It knocks out the friendly pet ahead and spawns bacon that you can feed your team. This mechanic has two upsides, one, serving as a faint mechanism for pets like Mammoth, Blobfish, and Orca, while two, generating free food that pairs beautifully with Rabbit and Sauropod. When you're done scaling and you don't want a floor squad anymore, just throw a Conpeto on it and you get a high stat, high level tier 4. Be some shiny glasses. Not gonna cut it. Um, run a horse with a beetle. Always a good start. Ooh, hello. Let's do this. I'll definitely keep you two. We got a guaranteed level up next turn. Love to see that. Mm -hmm. He's got a similar idea here. Mine is better though. Alright, level me. Dear Lord. Definitely possible. Love it. We going jelly? Maybe. Consider it. I don't think we freeze it, but consider jelly here. Hmm, not quite. Okay, so let's level. What do we get? Weasel. Weasel's probably all right. Level you. Rabbit with the Deer Lord is huge. Maybe we do it like this. And then hold on to you. The end turn though, so we're gonna be four squatting it. Not ideal, but maybe that's what we need to do. Beluga Sturgeon with the Deer Lord is insane. Very good. Okay, that's fun. Now we're picking up the pace here. Get rid of you. Throw you in. What are we doing? Like a, a big weasel strat? Oh, that'd be silly. Um, let's do it like this. Throw in a salad bowl. I guess we're going Weasel Strat after all. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. Roll me. Um, roll me one more. I think I like Bigfoot better. Okay, so this way we're gonna get a Rice Dolphin, which sells for some amount of money, and it acts as a dolphin. Making the, the Deer Lord not actually force you into a four squad. We still lose, because it's bad, but <laughs> maybe it won't be bad for long. You know? That's the hope, at least. So we're gonna go... I think we keep statting you up. Um, I kind of want to buy-sell this pigeon here. Is that, is that a bad idea? Probably. All right, we can stay at you a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Okay, this is fantastic. I like that the rabbit, the rabbit buffs itself, too, when it eats. It's just a nice little addition. Uh, throw in a shrimp here, just to get a little extra something. Well, I guess we throw in the dog, don't we? Get the oven mitts cooking up as well. Oh, dude, we're so bad. <laughs> Why is that the case? I feel like we should be doing better than we are. Um, we can go slug here. Okay. Surely this is enough to win, right? Surely. 
I'd like some more Dear Lords. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, we're finally not dead. That's a good start. Okay. I think we're rolling here. We can sell, get another puppy cooking up. That's not too bad. Is three health worth it? That'd effectively be five health. I don't know, I feel like the, the attack is also important. Um, that's great. We'll hang on to you in case we need it. Um, I think we do this. No, probably on here. Keep the beluga sturgeon for next round. We will be four squatting, but I think that's okay. Maybe that's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, good start. I don't know why your Bigfoot's so far back there. Ooh, I like it. Level me. We could mammoth <laughs> in front of our dear lord. Give everybody 2-2. Two, two. Or we could just throw in a bear, because bear's OP. Let's try the mammoth. Seems interesting. And then... We should probably start doing stuff like this. I don't like that it hit the rabbit as well. But so be it. I mean, it doesn't feel like another Dear Lord angle, but... Who's to say? You know? Maybe it is. I'm liking the math here. I love it. We probably need to get rid of this, this weasel here soon, right? I think he's kind of passing his expiration date a little bit. Let's get the rabbit cooking as well. Let's go here, see what we get. Thoropod is incredible. That just seems perfect in every way. And we don't have any good feints, so I think we just toss in somebody. Who's the best one? I guess the Okapi. <laughs> I think they're all the same. Alright, so we're going to switch them around a little bit. But this should be, like, really good. I think next round is going to go off. This is one of the few times I actually feel like the... Uzuma, what's it? What's his name? The Deer Lord is actually, like, good. I feel like he has a ton of support right now. I'm excited for this. I don't want to buff our Weasel because I don't think he's sticking around. Okay, oops. I meant to throw on the rabbit. And then we go here. I think we throw it on you. I mean, it might not even be like, like we have more important things to purchase than more Dear Lord. You know, so maybe we just don't care about that. Now I'd love to throw this on here, but I don't think we can afford it right now. So let's do this. Next turn will go insane. If there is a next turn, hopefully there is. This is a really fun build. Yeah, I think we're good. You guys aren't too insane. Ooh, I didn't like that hit at all. But our rabbit's huge, so we're good. Okay, see now... We're gonna go... I think we... Do we go wide? Probably go wide, right? And then, just for the sake of money and efficiency, let's just throw that on here. Oh, hello. Um, 
Puma's not gonna work as much as I would love it to. Okay, um, what, when are we getting rid of this, this here weasel? <laughs> Maybe we throw in a bear? That might not be a bad idea. Mammoth here. We can throw a mammoth in front, get some scaling going. Get this bear cooking up a little bit. I think we roll, try to find some, some chocolate or something. Ooh. That's or something. We could also orca in front, try to get some random faint pet. That would be good. Maybe. Roll me. Alright, I think we're in a good spot here. Give everybody a little buff. Fantastic. Yeah, dude, we're kind of cooking right now. High key, <laughs> this is a really strong team. And you wouldn't have guessed it from the way this started, but we're here. Okay, so we're gonna do, I, I found out the hard way. I got spammed by comments talking about this. So here's how we're doing it. We go stat you up. We're gonna play two of these. Okay. Oh, wait, no, we were only supposed to play one. Ignore that. Pretend we only played one. Now we play Sauropod, who still has triggers. We go lasagna on you. This guy's gone, but we combine it onto you. Okay, so now you still have two. So you, so you don't want to do that. You want to play, use up the, the uses on this Sauropod, and then play a fresh one. Combine it and then go again, so it acts as level two. All right, we're learning. We're learning. We're getting there. Ignore the issues. <laughs> and let's just do this. Keep our Grizzly from getting sniped a little bit, if at all possible. Oh, hello. Well, double up on you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, white tiger, don't care, didn't ask, roll me, mm, roll me, I think we do this, we throw in an orca like we had talked about, I don't think a level 3 rabbit is going to be necessary, um, I will hold on to him I guess actually, Mostly because we can play it in this empty spot once we sell the flea and just get an extra health. Extra little bit there, you know? Yeah, we're good. We're cooking. Cooking up something nasty. Okay. Do you want Sauropod or do you want... Well, Sauropod is effectively net neutral since we can't combine him. We don't want that. Are we going, dear lord? No. I think we're past that point. We need to pivot into like our late game strategies. Don't hit the rabbit. I hate you. <laughs> Please don't hit- Oh, well, it's probably gonna hit the rabbit. It didn't this time? What the heck? How does that happen? Roll me. Okay, let's do this. Roll me one time. Just kidding. Am I kidding? <laughs> Maybe? No, I think we're doing this. Hold on to you, hold on to you, hold on to you. Let's see what we can get from this cornucopia, you know? Okay, I like where we're at. We're not gonna sell and get the zebra, but that that's fine. What's an extra 2-2? Two, two? You hate to see it. The rabbit got us. <laughs> it's a pretty good build though. I think we got something here. Elderly... Muffins? Maybe? Typically not my ideal, but here we are.
They go here. I have no interest, for the most part, in running a magpie. I'll do a little shifty shifty, get some attack on these guys. Ooh, this works out pretty well, I believe. And we get a dub. Look at that. Alright. I'm really tempted to run Jelly here, considering how close we are to leveling all these guys. Speaking of, there's one. And there's more to come. Shrimp is also very good. Probably ditch the, the horse for the shrimp, I would think. We'll see. We'll see where we're at. Um, so start me here. What do we get? What do we get? Rabbit Deer Lord? I mean, Deer Lord's tempting. Don't get me wrong. Maybe we run it like this. Every time. <laughs> I think we sell you. Okay, didn't hit the swan, so maybe we get rid of the swan here. Um, but it's also money. And money is good. Maybe we run it like this. I kind of like this. So we'll save our free reroll for when we're on tier 3 next turn. Maybe we can find a rabbit. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. Not ideal. Oh, we found two rabbits. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I think we get rid of the shrimp now. We're going more of a rabbit vibe at this point. I mean, straight up. If the swan can stay, I'll keep it. I am more than happy to do that. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, do this. Then we'll eat the capybara. Hold on to the salad bowl. I think that could be very strong. Um, run it like this. Oh, baby. That was a close one. That was a little risky. Okay, we found another deer lord. Hopefully this salad doesn't hit this rabbit. Not what I was hoping for, of course. But honestly, that's okay. Roll me. Didn't, don't really have any good deer lord triggers here. Maybe we just throw in a beaver. But I still really like the bacon, don't get me wrong. Not quite there. Another rabbit. Okay, okay. Let's level. Red dragon, maybe. Another rabbit. One. Anteater is just fantastic here. Salad bowl is also good. I'm liking this. Yeah, we can ditch this ant, or keep it, I don't know. Big snipes. Oh, that was close. We take the draw. I think I'd rather... Actually, no. Straight up. Let's just hope this doesn't hit the ant. Or, don't even risk it. Run it like this. And then we'll save it for next turn. Ooh, and we get the rabbit. Okay. I actually really like this. We get two. Now we're cooking. 
Level three rabbit, level two deer horse. Deer horse? Dear lord. I don't know where that came from. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so what I'm gathering is we need to diversify. Uh, yeah, buy, sell you, I guess. Are we getting rid of Red Dragon? Not necessarily. There's another one. Do a little buy sell here into... Yeah, nothing really good for the dear lord. Just feed him a dragon. <laughs> Imagine feeding your homie a dragon. He's built different. Oh, close one again. I'm hoping we can hit that that curve, right, where it just starts working. That's the dream. We'll see if we can get it to work. And yeah, I think we definitely want to spread out the love a little bit. Even grab a Garial, get a melon going. None of these are great. I mean, you're going to be gone soon, I would imagine. Um, roll me. Ooh, blobfish. Even better. Okay. I think I like where we're at here. Hopefully we're strong enough at this point. It is turn 10 though, so... It's a little tough. I think we're good. We got enough breadth to our team. Seems to be okay. Okay, we can end on another blobfish. Which is great. Keep going here. That's fantastic. Great hits as well. Alright, something great. Something just fantastic for food. <laughs> Not really. Um, what's better? Six health or four four? Probably four four. And then we'll feed you. Always keep tacos when you got rabbit. That's just three lasagnas for three gold. So good. Yeah, we're cooking, dude. <laughs> we're getting there. I think we're on the up and up. We lost a lot early, but we're getting there. Um, do we ever get rid of Red Dragon? I mean, yes, definitely at some point. I'm not sure when is the issue. I think I'm... I want to get you cooking up. In the beginning. You know what? Oh, I shouldn't have done it like that. Okay. Do this. That's good, that's good. That's fantastic. Okay. I mean, if we can win this next turn... We're in a pretty good spot. Okay, they soaked up all of these snipes. That's good. What do you got for us? Not much. Definitely not too much to handle. Now we're really cooking. Okay. I think it's worth selling the ant here. Give us a little extra money. Hold on to an orca. I think that could be very valuable. Get you going a little bit here. Anything we like better than an orca? I don't 
think so. No, let's just cook it. Let's see how this orca does. At this point, we've passed the the up and up here. So if we lose, I'm not going to say that we were mid pivot. <laughs> All right, we broke some melons there. That's not bad. Yeah, if, if, if we lose at this point, we just got outscaled. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go here. I'm not worried about a level 3 swan. Definitely not. Okay. Do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. And I guess we give you some cheese. Call it a day. Was that double attack for one? Yeah. You're actually probably gonna do some some good work here for us, hopefully. Okay. Luckily, their bear is only level one. I don't know if it would have mattered either way. We are, we still have so much more health, but. Definitely doesn't hurt. Okay, we have a blobfish, we can get you to level three. Tell you, I mean, let's give some cheese around the board. That seems pretty good. Um, Gariel. Maybe get like a melon cooking for, for our silver fox homie. Okay, I sell here. I think we just end like this. Everyone's got some cheese, <laughs> which is always good. Now I wonder, do we get three bacons? Like how does this, how does it work? No, we get two and then you level up. Okay, that's unfortunate, but makes sense. Oh, we're getting a lot of money here. Can we survive the onslaught? That's the question. He got a friggin' wolf. That is highly unfortunate. Oh, baby. That was a close one. That could have gone wrong in so many different ways. Okay, so we go here. Okay, keep doing this. I wonder if it's time to call it on the the Deer Lord. You know, maybe we pivot into something else. What's a good late game pivot? Grizzly? Grizzly could be solid. What do we got here? Pretzel? Mushroom? Neither of those are great. We could potentially run a Puma. Never gonna say no to the tacos. Okay, I think we settle with the Grizzly. Throw you up front so you don't eat anybody. And I think it'll be one of those, if the Grizzly gets sniped, so be it. You know, he's not doing a whole lot right now, but hopefully we can get him level three. We'll see how these how these games go. Okay, Grizzly does get sniped, but honestly it's not a huge issue. We got a little clap back from our own Grizzly. That's awesome. Can we pull pull off the insane reverse sweep? That's the question. Give you a mushroom. No, no, not interested. We're really just looking for grizzlies at this point. Grizzlies and chocolate. There's one. I'm not even going to use this because we already are maxed out on m most of our health. I'd rather get the grizzly if we can find it. Hmm, we did not. That's unfortunate. 
I think we just roll it out. Freeze the chocolates. Alright. Let's see if this build is strong enough. I think we're going to get outscaled if we don't finish it out pretty soon here. Okay. I mean, we have so much health, we can absorb a lot of these shots. Fortunately, the Grizzly didn't go off another time. Otherwise, we may have been in trouble. But now we have our Grizzly cooking. Another Grizzly? Ooh, not quite. Dude, could we get a level 3? That would be insane. Come on. Come on. Not quite. Not quite there. Alright, we got it for next turn. Let's look for some targeted foods. Get our Grizzly's health up so he doesn't get sniped. Oh dude, I think we're good here, right? Depending what the beluga is holding. An orca. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. That felt like, that felt really strong. As soon as, like I said, as soon as we got on the up and up, we were just smooth sailing, you know? We were never like insanely broken, but we were above the power curve. And that's all that matters. You know, just consistent scaling will get you there. And this seems like a bad idea. Or not. Maybe it's a great idea. Let's be some iconic, iconic believers. The ones that have been with you through the whole thick and thin, you know, all that. However that goes. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. I love it. Beetle me up. Alright, that's a little much. <laughs> Even I think that's a little excessive. But I mean, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna run it. Okay. The horses are doing work out here. I'll tell you that much. Horse me up. We ever run in like a deer lord here? Maybe. This really isn't like a deer lord angle, but it isn't really an anything angle right now. Maybe we do this, get a giant horse in the front. Throw in a deer lord. And then a Bigfoot. I don't think we like feed the big feed him the Bigfoot yet. I think we're still kind of in that early. You know, he's just there for some stats kind of vibe. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Throw in a jelly. See if we can find. That's pretty good. Okay. Now I'm intrigued. Maybe we just water of youth on the, the horse. What do we want out of that? Beetle, maybe? Let's see what we get. The horse? Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. Could be worse. We got a draw. That means it was good. That means it was a good play, right? Maybe. All right, well, Beetle can definitely go. Let's roll. Okay. Let's look for somebody that the Deer Lord wants to eat. Some puppies, some more puppies. Or you'd go Owl. Straight up. Uh, 
thought we were going to have three gold. I have made a mistake. <laughs> this is not ideal. Okay, well, here we are. We're losing. We have three hearts though, so that's okay. Okay, so we have to use salad before we sell the mouse because it'll replace. We just hope it doesn't hit the mouse. Okay, double hit on the mouse. That's good. That's good. That's exactly what I was hoping for, actually. Alright, whatever. Dear Lord doesn't need to eat yet, right? We'll use this mouse because it's big. you. Not yet. Use the lasagna first. Be smart. Here's how we're gonna do this. Gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Freeze the chocolate. And that should be good. Now, is this going to be enough to actually make a good team? No. I think fairly confidently I can say it will not. But it's enough to draw. Sometimes that's all you need. Draw against the guy who's also doing horribly. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to aim for. A silver fox seems pretty good. I ditched the seahorse here. Hold on to you. Let's just do this. Just give you someone to eat. Okay. I like where we're at here. Not really. I kind of like where we're at. It's not fantastic, but it could definitely be worse. Look at that, we actually got a win. <laughs> Crazy how that works. Okay. Tier 5. Unfortunately, we can't do the rabbit with these, because this will replace the shop. So we're going to have to use this first. And then sell. I mean, straight up, this is probably just smart, right? This is like perfect use of our gold. We didn't roll once, use the entire shop. Perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. Okay. Maybe we're creeping up on the power curve here. I didn't think it'd be the case, but here we are actually kind of doing it. Mm, keep rolling here. Clownfish with you seems good. Ooh, high key? Mammoth is great with Deer Lord. There's a lot of these interactions that I just love. Do this. Deer Lord has a lot of cool setups this weekly. Very underrated pet. Like, look how fast these guys are scaling. We're like way... Way kind of outpacing the competition. <laughs> In a way. If you think about it. Perfect. Now we do probably want to get a wider scaling than this, but right now I'm fine with where we're at. Um, slug, no. 
There's a rabbit. Um, not interested in you. We'll roll once, see if we get any anything better than just a Gariel. Hmm, not really. Nothing that we really want the Dear Lord to eat. I think we roll. Bro seems alright. We could run a Clownfish. Hmm, not really the play, I don't think. Actually, what we can do, I just thought of this, get the Dear Lord basically maxed out and then just start compatoing him. You know, once you've used up as much as you want from him, just turn him into something else. <laughs> you know, just turn him into another pet. So he stops eating so much. You fatty. Yeah, let's get a little loving on the Dear Lord here. Roll you. Fantastic. Oh, don't mind if I do. You're a good buy sell. None of these are good to eat. Because the beluga, which normally would be good to eat, will take up our owl spot. And we cannot allow that to happen. I think we're good where we're at. We're gonna get the melon on the silver fox, which I think is just great. Three bacons, look at that. That is a beautiful sight. Oh baby. These guys are cooking. They're cooking up something delicious. Alright. So I think we go triple on... You know, maybe we get the rabbit cooking up a bit, you know? I'll still put you on here. Not bad, not bad. Um, it's not time yet to con peto, but we're definitely approaching. Fantastic. Hmm, what do we want here? Maybe. Very good. Might be a grizzly angle. Um, do something like this. I thought we were like basically out of money. Until I looked at it and realized that we're definitely not. <laughs> um, oops, I did not mean to sell that. Looks like we're gonna nuke a bear. Because these three are definitely worth more than one bear. Oh, the overkill is beautiful. Chef's kiss. Look at that. Alright. I think we're rapidly approaching the point where I'd consider Kunpeitoing our dear lord. Um, but not yet, maybe. No, we still have the opportunity to keep scaling up. Tell you, get you going. Throw you on here. I sell you. There's another bear. Um, I'll get, I'll hold the Kenpeito here. Oh baby, hold on. Alright, how do you say no to this? You can't, right? You just get a free bear here? Run it like this. Triple bear. We'll get rid of the owl, I think. Now that we've kind of used up this 
this team here. Probably pivot into a bit more of a summon focus. Fantastic. So yeah, the owl is not needed anymore. Let's get rid of you. Conpeto on you. Level three hawk, sure. Don't mind if I do. I don't even think we need the crow. We're not close to level threes on anybody. Let's just look for like orcas. You know, just more triggers on our grizzly, really. I think that'd be a good way to finish this out. Honestly, I'm happy with the hawk. Like, I don't think there are that many tier fives that I would want more than just dealing 21 damage to somebody. Hold on to you. Maybe get you going. Um, no, I think I'd rather find like an orca for the mushroom. No, not gonna cut it. I got the beluga slug. Hard to say no to that one. Let's give you cheese. We'll give you a mushroom just cause. <laughs> it's not like the best thing ever, but not bad. This team feels very good. Throw you in the back. Back-ish. Snipe some of their support guys, maybe. Ouch. Very rude. And we're good. Didn't even need the bear, apparently. <laughs> he just got gunned down right at the beginning. And we get an achievement for the hawk. Look at that. Dear Lord, let's keep in mind, this guy right here, that's our Dear Lord. <laughs> he made this all happen. Fantastic way to end it. I'm very happy with that game. That was a fun one.